Welcome to another short training video on internal auditing according VDA 6.3 and IATF 16949. In this video we will focus on VDA 6.3 questions. P3 Planning the product and process development To evaluate the planning steps how the product is designed and developed to meet the customer requirements and the process development activities to ensure that the product can be manufactured consistently to meet the customer quality and delivery requirements. We will now audit the the product and process development manager to assess if the product and process activities will be planned and implemented according the project plan to ensure that the processes will be capable and implemented in time according the customer's requirements. P3.1 How do you ensure that all the specific product and process requirements will be available and implemented? All the customer product and process requirements received are registered in the document control system and communicated to the relevant departments to be analyzed and implemented according the timing plan. And include the following. Contract documents. Legal requirements. Specifications. Technical drawings. Quality specific requirements. Quality agreements. Test regulations. Environmental aspects and recycling requirements. Lessons learned from previous projects. The special characteristics will be identified on the basis of the customer requirements, legal requirements, manufacturing technology and characteristics that arise from the purpose and use of the product and the processes known from previous experience. All the customer requirements will be analyzed to determine the statutory and regulatory requirements and the logistical requirements to ensure that only capable suppliers are selected for the, the product and that the quality agreements for directed suppliers are available. If requirements cannot be fulfilled the customer must be notified. And the organization must submit a written deviation to the customer for approval. P3.2 Is the feasibility comprehensively evaluated according to the product and process requirements? The manufacturing feasibility study is a comprehensive analysis and evaluation of a planned project agreed by a cross-functional team from relevant departments to determine the risks and opportunities if it is technically feasible. To manufacture the product to meet the customer requirements mentioned in P3.1, within the estimated cost, and with the necessary resources, facilities, tooling, capacity, software, and personnel and support functions are planned and available. That their manufacturing facility has the capacity and capability to deliver the components successfully on time at the right location. To satisfy the customer's quality and delivery requirements, the feasibility checklist must be completed by all team members. P3.3 Are the activities for the product and process development planned in detail? When planning the product and process development, the level of detail is dependent on the component, software and complexity of the process. In the development phase, suitable methods must be used to secure the product and process development so that when the product goes into serial production, it fulfills the operational conditions in relation to function, reliability and safety, risk analysis, product FMEA and process FMEA or similar methods are part of the planning. At the planning stage, the development of new products and processes should take into account the requirements of the product operational conditions. The time schedules contain all information for product and process development, including deadlines and length of time, milestones within the overall project plan, performance testing. Methods for development release meet customer requirements and must be clarified with the customer if deviations occur. Activities related to the procurement scope are planned and are consistent with the overall schedule. P3.4 
are the activities planned for customer care, customer satisfaction, customer service and field failure analysis. The customer requirements for the supply of parts across the product life cycle are taken into account in the planning. The process of managing the entire life cycle of a product from inception, through engineering design and manufacture, to service and disposal of manufactured products. Concepts to continually ensure series supply including a contingency plan to prevent or minimize the risk and impact to the customer are provided in the planning phase. The analysis process for zero kilometers and field reclamation is planned for delivery. Including NTF, no trouble found. The customer requirements are also taken into account for field failure analysis. When introducing new technologies and products, employee training and the creation of the necessary infrastructure are provided also in customer service. P3.5 have the necessary resources been taken into account for the product and process development? The resource planning is regularly adapted to changes in the project and potential bottlenecks are to be considered. It is very important to evaluate that the project plans start and end dates are planned according to customer's key milestones to ensure that the resources will be available for prototypes construction pre-series runs and performance test, and serial production must be planned. Determination of resources refers to the availability of qualified personnel, budget, infrastructure such as building, test and inspection equipment, hardware and software, laboratory facilities, and the machinery and equipment. We will now have a look. How to evaluate the individual questions of P3. Based on the evidence the audit team identified during the audit. In P3 to P4, you will assess both the process and product requirements for each question. The assessment of each question can result in the award of 0, 4, 6, 8, or 10 points. If you have more than one finding for assessing a single question, the individual assessment which has the highest risk is to be used to score the respective question. In the closing meeting the lead auditor will present the, the audit report to the organization and when necessary explain how the overall assessment result was calculated. Thank you for watching how to audit the product and process planning activities. In P4 we will analyze and evaluate the realization of the planning activities in accordance with P3. Your success is our priority. You are also welcome to subscribe to our channel.